My name is Emily. And we're from Photos Philo Psyche. So our diversion topic is what should be your first? But before we jump to all those stuff, we would like to explain a little bit more about our group name. So the first word is Protos. Protos stands for first. And Philos means loving. And Psyche means soul. And those three words are Greek words. So what we're trying to say is that you must prioritize your soul over anything else. And since God himself gave us the soul, we must love it entirely. So our first Bible passage is taken from Matthew 7 verse 5. You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. This verse was written by Matthew to all the readers of the Bible, including us. And the topic of this chapter is judging others. imagined myself in a scene where I had a knife in my eye that prevented me and tortured me from seeing the truth about myself because my way of thinking was that the devil didn't want me to realize that I'm actually faking my good behaviors and my good deeds to other people. as though I'm already a loyal believer. I was a believer, just not a loyal one. I might want people to see me as that one Christian teenager who believes in God unconditionally, but actually deep down inside, it's just sometimes that I'm gonna be that loyal believer. Because it's nothing for us to make someone a believer of God or Jesus Christ when we are not yet, because then we cannot share the good benefits or the importance of being a true follower of Jesus Christ. Because that is the key in making someone a believer. I strongly agree with this verse because it constantly reminds me to focus on myself more than the others in this kind of context. For example, we must forgive ourselves first before we want people to forgive each other. And we must be happy before telling our friends to be happy. Those are just examples of what I'm trying to conclude, which is to focus on yourself more in being a follower of Jesus Christ. tend to invite their friends or encourage them to worship God or to be a believer of Jesus Christ, but the one who invited their friends is not always a true believer in themselves. Other than that, he or she might want to be considered as one of those person who is the holy kid. that the Bible's first solution is for us to prioritize ourselves first before we want people to be like who we think we are. For example, we must forgive ourselves, constantly be grateful of life, as well as believe in God without any conditions and not be easily manipulated by bad influences. passage and you've comprehended the meaning of the passage, then you ought to believe in God unconditionally by going to church by heart, not by our parents' orders or by our friends' encouragement, but by our own opinion. Other than that, we must make our prayers to be the key of communication with God, because we should make Him our father, our best friend, our everything, besides He is the King of all kings. After reading this 
our welfares, I expect to see a society of true believers, a group of people who are not ashamed to be a follower of Jesus Christ, who have a strong shield that protects them from all the bad influences that are in their lives, and lastly to make God as our first priority. And the second verse is from Mark 12 verse 29. The most important one, answered Jesus, is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. This verse was written by Mark the Evangelist to all the readers of the Bible. And this topic of this verse is the greatest commandment. this verse which is mark 12 29 the first thing that came across my mind is that god must be there or our one and only priority other than anything else so you must put god to be our number one so in this aspect of the verse i can relate as a teenager that our number one most important thing in life is to praise our Almighty Lord and never let anyone change the perspective because our God is number one. So, so in this mess in this verse, I felt like God messaged us is that he wants us to be obedient and trust Him as the one and only Savior. So, so in this verse, my response is that I actually agree because nowadays people often forget about the Lord. So I believe that this verse will change their perspective or change the society because we must prior Jesus Christ in our lives. So, what is happening to the society and how can I relate it? So, nowadays in the society, people often act ungraceful. They forget about Jesus and do not put God first. So, just like everyone, mostly everyone, is that in the state of pleasure, we praise God, we thank Him, but in difficulty, we forget about Him and blame Him over everything. So, in this Bible verse, the solution that offers us is that we need to prior God other than anything else and we need to put God above all things. After reading this Bible verse, the action we can take is that we need to prioritize Him in everything and never forget about Him. And we shall never let God go out from your life. So, after people read this Bible first, the change that I expect them to be is that I want people to be more concerned about their lives and afterlives. Because without God, life could be worse because who never knows. So never forget about God and put Him as your number one priority. So that is it for our today's devotion. We hope that our video can help you and guide you into a better life and more peaceful and happier life. And we hope that you guys after watching this video can fulfill our expectation for a better future. Because then there might be a small chance that in the future of our own generation, we can live a better life than 
this generation. Yeah, because we need to rely on our almighty God. So we hope you can understand our devotions and our devotions. Thank you for listening our devotion and thank you for watching our devotion. See you on our next project. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>